which is really a meal in itself. Now it has some grilled chicken, which has just been brushed with a little bit of olive oil. We have some fresh lettuce leaves and a special salad dressing, which we are going to prepare, which is delicious. And we are going to be using some toasted bread, brown bread croutons. So there's very little oil and even the oil that we are using is extra virgin olive oil. So this salad is really a meal in itself. You can keep all the ingredients like the dressing, your grilled chicken and your uh, croutons and your lettuce leaves ready. And when you're really hungry, you just assemble all of this together and you have a whole meal in itself. So I hope you like this short and sweet recipe playlist. So friends, let's get ahead and do this amazing chicken salad. Now for the kurtons, I have toasted some brown bread in my toaster and just cut it up into small cubes like this. Now we are going to make the most important part which is the dressing for the salad. Now here I am crushing about four to five large cloves of garlic with a pinch of rock salt you can use ordinary salt too and I'm going to add about one teaspoon of pepper powder black roasted crushed pepper powder and I'm going to use a mortar and a pestle and I'm going to grind this into a very coarse paste now I've also bought some lettuce and I have washed it. First I soaked it in some salt water, then thoroughly washed it, wiped it and then put it into the refrigerator to chill for some time and then torn it into small bits. Now the paste is all ready. We need a very nice and coarse paste and the salt, the rock salt helps to get this lovely consistency. This adds an amazing flavor to the dressing. This dressing is my husband Abhijit's own invention and it is just yummy. Now in a large bowl we are going to take some mayonnaise. You can use the eggless one or the classic one. So we are going to use about 5 to 6. Uh, tablespoons of mayo then add the paste of the garlic the pepper and the salt now we're going to add some mustard sauce which about one to two tablespoons you can always you know add as per what you like more of and all of these products are now available easily in any supermarket. Even the mustard adds an amazing flavor to this dressing. Now we're going to add one or two tablespoons of Sriracha sauce, the extra hot chili sauce. Now goes in some Tabasco. I'm adding about one large tablespoon. You can add, like I said, as per your taste. Well, this dressing is so yummy that we can we even use it as a dip. Okay, now goes in some Worcestershire sauce. Three to four large tablespoons. You can use this dip to have with, you know, some slices of cucumber, carrot. Now goes in some pancake syrup three to four tablespoons or if you have the pure maple syrup you can add that too now we're going to whisk all of this very very well together so ensure that you have a large bowl and we're going to whisk all of this till all the ingredients come together 
into a lovely amazing sauce or dressing you can have this dip with you know nowadays in the market you get so many different types of uh, you know baked kind of like soup steaks or you have a lot of other things in different flavors so you can just have it with this dip and it just tastes amazing So you got to whisk this very nicely for a long time for at least five to seven whole minutes because we want this everything to get well integrated together now we're going to add about one tablespoon of brown sugar Again, this is very, very easily available now in all superstores. Or you can even order these products online. And now we're just going to add some olive oil, about two to three tablespoons. Just pour it in and as you're pouring, just keep whisking. This is also a very important part of the dressing, the oil, the salad oil, which is extra virgin olive oil over here now i'm showing you a chicken salad but you can always use either paneer or tofu or some chickpeas boiled chickpeas you can use any substitute instead of chicken this salad is such you know it's so filling that if you just make all of these ingredients keep them ready and you just get them together you can have it as a dinner as your dinner and it's so light and so healthy too so now our sauce is almost ready now for the chicken all i have done is i've just taken some chicken boneless breast and a little bit of olive oil in a pan and just cut them first i've cut them up into cubes and then just lightly sauteed it in some olive oil till the chicken is cooked and all i'm going to do is just season it with some pepper powder black crushed pepper powder a little bit of herbs and a little bit of salt you don't have to do much to the chicken just ensure that it is well cooked now we are going to heat up our kurtans and put a little bit of olive oil say about half a tablespoon and a little bit of uh, herbs mixed italian herbs and just get it nicely toasted on the pan because this gives the nice crunch element to our salad and make lots of it because you know everyone just loves the kurtans in the salad and like I said, you can just make all of these individually, pack them up, store them. And when you're ready to eat, just put all of this together. You can even carry it to office separately and then just assemble it all together and you have a full meal ready. So we're going to toast this nicely in a little bit of olive oil. this has really become a you know a hit at my house at my home all of us just love this chicken salad okay now we're going to assemble everything so take a large salad bowl first we're going to put in the leaves the salad leaves the lettuce just tear it up roughly with your hands now we're going to add the croutons then goes in our chicken please ensure that the chicken is cooked you can add as little or as much as you want 
you can substitute it with anything that's a veg now I'm adding some shredded cheese you can leave this out if you don't want to add the cheese it's all optional you can even cube up the cheese into small little cubes tiny cubes and add that and now we're going to just add this amazing dressing you can as, add as little or as much as you like and now all we're left to do is just mix all of this together and we have an amazing chicken salad all ready to eat so I hope you like this amazing recipe a very healthy recipe it has all the ingredients to make a healthy meal with if you don't want to go in to eat some heavy rice or chapatis or puris and you know cook a heavy curry or something this is just the ideal lunch or dinner salad so don't forget to give this video a like if you really like this share this recipe with family friends make it at home and let me know in the comments box below how your chicken salad turned out and i'll see you guys in the next video bye take care So friends, let's see today's beautiful recipe of Russian salad. Now here I've taken about two medium sized potatoes, wash them well, peel them and I'm going to chop them up into these small even sized cubes. Now I've kept some water at the side because I'm going to chop these potatoes into small cubes and then I'm going to put them in the water so that they don't discolor. So we want them into this even sized small cubes. Next, we're going to cube up the pineapple. So just remove the center and then cube the, uh, the remaining pineapple. You're not going to use the center. So I'm using about three uh, large slices of pineapple. So basically, you require at least, you know, three-fourths of a bowl of all of the ingredients. Next, I'm going to take two carrots. Now, I love using these orange carrots, but even if you get the red carrots, it's fine. Now, just cut them up. Now, I like to remove the center, you know, the, uh, the center part. And then we're going to chop them up into small cubes. We don't want very small cubes. Just about this size. Now, I've soaked about 8 to 10 French beans in some water to which I've added a little salt for 10 minutes. Wash them, dry them well and then remove the edges. You need to remove the edges otherwise you'll get these stringy uh, kind of you know uh, consistency and again chop the French beans. Now you can prep all of this and keep everything ready and when you want to make your salad you just go ahead. Now I've taken half an apple and I've removed the core and I've removed the peel also don't throw away the peel you can eat the peel it's you know very rich in vitamins but for the salad I have removed the peel now this apple adds real crunch to this uh, salad Now you can go with the entire apple also so all our ingredients are ready now we need to cook the potatoes so I've just taken some water about four to five cups of water let it heat a bit and I'm going to add the potatoes then I'm going to bring the potatoes to a gentle boil checking in between now we don't want overcooked potatoes we don't want it to be of the boiled potatoes consistency we want them to be firm yet they want they should be cooked so just take them out in the middle and just check them with your knife the knife should go you know uh, completely through the potato or you can even you know taste the potato and see whether it's cooked we don't want it mushy but we want it to be cooked so keep checking it should take about five minutes and then drain the potatoes out and put them in a bowl. Now to the same boiling water, we're going to add the uh, chopped up carrots. Now we don't want to overcook the carrots. So just for a minute, we're going to let them heat in this water. And again, we're going to drain the carrots and put them in a bowl. Now 
we're going to do the same thing with our french beans also just you know kind of cook them just for a minute not even a minute like the the minute it hits the water like you know just for some time let it boil and then take it out because we don't want them mushy but we want them to be firm yet they should be cooked so when you eat them in the salad you don't find them extra crunchy but just the right texture now you can increase the amount of the veggies also you can add more carrots you can add more french beans you can even add green peas if you like So now we are ready with all our ingredients. So now we can start making our lovely Russian salad. So I've taken a large salad mixing bowl. I'm going to add the potatoes. I'm going to add the French beans. Now try not to get any of the water of the vegetables into the salad. Then I'm going to add my carrots. I'm going to add my chopped up apples, my pineapples. And I'm going to mix all of this really well together. Doesn't it look lovely already with all the lovely colorful veggies and fruits? Now I'm going to season it with some pepper powder. So I'm going with half a teaspoon, but you can add to taste. Then I'm going to add some salt. Mix everything well together so that the salt and the pepper nicely coat all the uh, veggies and fruits. Give it a taste, guys, because then you come to know if you want to add more salt, if you want to add more pepper. And then I'm going to go with one cup of mayo, but then I really uh, added a little bit more later, about half a cup more. So you add the mayo also according to your, uh, you know, how much mayo you want in your Russian salad. Now those who want to keep it completely wedged can go for the eggless mayo, otherwise you can go for the classic mayo. And just mix everything and don't forget to chill it before serving it because it should be had nice and chilled and this is a lovely salad. Do try it out, friends. Now, first we're going to hard boil the eggs. So for that, I've taken four cups of water, to which I'm going to add three eggs. We're going to bring it to a complete boil and then simmer it for three to five minutes. After three to five minutes, just turn off the heat and cover and let this come to room temperature. And after that, place the eggs in cold water for five minutes. Similarly, I'm going to boil two small potatoes for about 10 minutes and let them come to room temperature. Now the eggs are nice and, uh, you know, they've come to room temperature completely. They've cooled down. And now I'm just going to tap them gently onto any hard surface. They will just crack a bit and then just take off the peel. So if you boil the eggs in this way, you know, the peel will not get stuck to the eggs. Never try to peel very uh, hot eggs, you know, just come out of the boiling water. Let them cool completely and then only peel them and then you'll get the perfectly boiled, uh, you know, hard boiled eggs. So in this way, I'm going to peel these three eggs. And now we're going to move on to the potatoes. So I've peeled the potatoes as well. And now we're going to cut the eggs in this manner. So first I'm going to just slice the egg into half like this. And now you know that it's hard boiled because the yolk has completely changed its color. If it's soft boiled, then the yolk is still a little, you know, a, a dark yellow. Here it becomes a pale yellow. And I'm just going to chop it up into small pieces like this. So first you're going to cut it up into half and then, you know, into smaller pieces. This is a real delicious salad, guys. You should make it. It's a, like a light meal. You can have it as a meal or an anytime snack. And it's okay if the yolk gets a little separated from the whites. It's it, it's fine. Don't get worried about it. And now that we've chopped our eggs, we're just going to transfer them into a large mixing bowl. <clears throat> 
use a large bowl for this salad because then it becomes very easy to mix the salad once all the ingredients are added. Now next I'm going to cut the potato also into small even sized cubes. So you can prep all of this and keep it ready and when you're ready to have your salad you can just mix everything. So now I'm going to add the potatoes to the bowl. Now I'm taking one medium sized onion. I've washed it really well and then I'm going to cut off the edges like this. Take off the peel. And then you can see in the center there's this little yellowish kind of a thing. Take that off. And now we're going to chop uh, the onions really, really fine. So first I'm just going to slice them. And then I'm going to mince them really fine. It's very important for this recipe that the onions are chopped really fine because you don't want big pizza pieces of onion, you know, as you're having the salad. It's So it's very important that you chop them really, really fine. So just move your knife in this way. And it's good to if you use a really sharp knife. And then add the onions also to the eggs and potato. Now we have just one more ingredient to chop and that is some fresh coriander. So I've taken about half a cup of coriander, washed it really well and then I'm going to chop it really fine and add that too. So now we're done with all the ingredients that we need to chop. Now we just need to add some few more ingredients. Now here I'm going to take one a medium sized lemon, I've just cut it up and I'm just going to squeeze out the juice of one lemon. So that comes to around 4 to 5 tablespoons of lemon juice. So this can be adjusted as per your taste. So now let's add the other ingredients. So first I'm going to start with mayo. So I'm using half a cup of mayonnaise. Next I'm going to add one teaspoon of English mustard. One teaspoon of pepper powder. Black pepper powder. Some salt to taste. And the lemon juice. And now all we have to do is just gently mix everything together. Mix it very gently because we don't want the eggs, you know, uh, breaking. Nor we don't want the potatoes breaking. So very gently give everything a mix. And your lovely egg and potato salad is all ready to enjoy. Now, I like to have this for, you know, really chilled from the refrigerator. So you can chill it up and enjoy it.
So friends, let's see how to make this delicious coleslaw. So here I've taken half cup, uh, half a cup of mayonnaise. This is homemade mayonnaise. I'll leave a link of how I prepare my mayonnaise at home. You can also use store bought. This is two cups of shredded cabbage. I'm going to add the cabbage to the mayo. Next, I'm going to add half a cup of shredded carrots. Half a teaspoon of pepper. And some salt to taste. And now all we have to do is just mix everything together really, really well. And then just give it a taste test and just see whether you need more mayo or whether you need more pepper or more salt. And you need to refrigerate this till you're ready to use it. So give it a good mix. You can use it on the same day or you can store it in an airtight container and use it for at least about two or three days. And this is your lovely coleslaw ready. Now uh, you can use this coleslaw in many ways like I'll show you. So you can make yummy sandwiches with this, little mini sandwiches as starters or a light brunch or lunch or you can put them on canopies or you get these flat biscuits which are very wafer thin in different flavors. You can use those or you can just put them on some uh, crackers. So I just like to cut off the edges because that way the sandwiches also look very pretty. Don't overstuff it, just put the right amount. And here I've prepared some burnt garlic rice as well as some chicken kebabs. And I'm just going to serve this as a salad. So I leave a link to my chicken kebabs and my burnt garlic rice, which are both very delicious. So you can serve it as a salad. And that's your coleslaw already. A very simple recipe with very few ingredients. So I hope you liked today's recipe guys. If you did, then don't forget to give this video a like and I'll catch you soon in my next video. Bye. Friends, I hope you liked today's recipe as well as today's video. And if you would like to see more videos like this, then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up. Also, by, by clicking the thumbs up icon. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes. Once you have subscribed, there is a small little bell icon that will pop up. So just click on that. That way, whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video, you get a message for the same. So on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.